The occupiers are using Soviet-style artillery with ammunition supplied by Iran and North Korea. This was stated by Oleg Kalashnikov, head of the press service of the 26th Artillery Brigade named after General Korunzi Roman Dashkevich of Ukraine on air at the telethon. According to him, the enemy is actively using artillery to cover the infantry. Russia has developed hundreds of its 70-year-old howitzers to the Ukrainian front line, according to analysts, as both Kyiv and Moscow lose significant amounts of equipment on the battlefield more than two years into the war. The analysts said that the weapons were being deployed in Ukraine to make up for equipment losses Russia has sustained in the war. The M46 system was literally destroyed a few days ago, along with our brothers from reconnaissance in the Kharkov direction. It was mothballed, but the lack of artillery weapons forced us to take it out of the arsenals. The Russians have a rather poor supply of rounds for it. They were poorly stored, so many of them are in poor condition. Kalashnikov said. He explained that it is the M46 systems that are in service with North Korea and Iran. They are the ones who supply the ammunition for this system. It should be noted that Iran has developed a new type of ammunition more powerful, the firing range of which can be up to 44 kilometers. The head of the press service said. Former stormtrooper of the IDAR Battalion of Ukraine, director of the National Antarctic Scientific Center, Yevgeny Diki said that the peak of the Russian army's power has passed. It was the winter and spring of this year, but the Ukrainian armed forces survived it. He added that the situation is slowly changing for the better for Ukraine because a lot of the latest weapons have arrived. Mobilization is underway. And now they have a crisis with armored vehicles. They have a maximum of a year left. The situation with artillery and guns is even worse than with armored vehicles. They are also pouring in about five times more shells than we are. But at the same time, the number of hit targets is almost the same because Ukrainian artillery hits the target five times more often, Dickey said. Russia and Ukraine are both suffering significant losses of its troops and equipment amid intense fighting in the Ukrainian east. Moscow kick-started an offensive in the Kharkiv region on May the 10th seizing a number of villages on Ukraine's northeastern frontier, but that effort has since slowed. Thank you.